It never rains in Southern California, but in Southern Ontario, man, it pours. Which is why we're sitting on the tailgate of these two high-end sport luxury SUVs. The 2019 Porsche Cayenne S and the 2019 BMW X5 xDrive 50i. That is one mouthful of a name. New for 2019, fourth generation X5, third generation Cayenne. This thing is way cheaper. It has more horsepower. Sorry, did you say cheaper? Well, you well mean let me, allow me to rephrase. It costs less, it has more horsepower, it has two extra cylinders, and it has a boatload of more equipment. And it weighs 400 kilograms more. And yet it's also faster. Marginally. Let's find out which is the better of these two high-end luxury sport SUVs. This is your X5 xDrive 50i. Out of the hood, we got a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Yeah, 456 horsepower, mm -hmm. 479 pound feet of torque. As I said, the biggest thing is that it weighs over 2,400 kilograms. That's a lot of weight. That's true. You do feel the weight when you push it hard in corners. Yeah. But it makes up for that in straight line speed. It is quick enough. It is I'll quick grant quick. that. It is. XDrive 50i is $86,000 to start. As equipped, $102,700. 6,605 pounds towing capacity. 33.9 mm -hmm. cubic feet of cargo space okay. behind the back seats. Okay, so it can tow and it's spacious. Yeah, though six foot two is not freakishly tall, it's just ordinary tall. Mm -hmm. I cannot sit behind myself in the X5. The other thing that's a bit of a detractor is wireless CarPlay. Now, it also has wireless charging. The problem is not all modern iPhones have wireless charging. And the wireless CarPlay system in the X5 is a huge battery drain. Both though do have reasonably good off-road capability. Not Jeep Wrangler good, but mm -hmm. not bad at all. They do have utility. What matters is bragging rights. Really? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's find out on the Porsche. So here we are in the Cayenne S. Mm -hmm. Also all new for 2019. Yep, third generation. Might not look it, but it is redesigned. Just lovely to drive. I will grant you that. This thing handles incredibly well, not just for an SUV, but it just handles well, period. Yes, it is, as Porsche deigned the Cayenne to be, the sports car of the SUV segment. It is down on cargo space compared to the X5, yes. but it does tow some more. Yeah. It also offers comparable power. Pretty Double much. Well within the 400 horsepower zone. Yeah, and you know, zero to 100 kilometers an hour, both around five seconds, mm -hmm. which is pretty quick. But you're not crazy about the uh, Cayenne's interior, are you? You know, for the price, and especially compared to the X5, I was expecting a lot more. I'll give Porsche credit for one thing with regards to the, the, the center console. At least the touch panel uh, provides a bit of haptic feedback. Mm -hmm. The only thing I missed that was on the X5 is the head-up display. It's also missing massaging seats, semi-autonomous cruise control that also steers for you. It is missing some things compared to the X5. Did I mention how well it drives? I think you mentioned that a couple of times. Did, did I mention how the Cayenne is down two cylinders compared to the X5? But it makes the same amount of power, just about. And yet... Smaller displacement. And yet, therein lies the rub. It's almost the power. Yeah, but it gets yeah. better fuel economy. That's true, it does. And you know it what? Is. You know, you might think, hey, if you're paying $100,000 for a vehicle, you don't need to worry about fuel economy. Maybe you don't, but then no. again, then again, maybe the reason you can afford a $100,000 crossover is that you pay attention to the fuel economy. 
I can always count on you for your infinite wisdom, old dude. Somebody has to be smart around here. Mm -hmm. It comes down to whether you like a lot of luxury or you like a lot of sport. Me, I'm going with the sport side. So my choice is the Cayenne S. Well, the BMW still delivers on both. It still delivers luxury and sportiness. And it's about 20 grand less expensive. That's a rounding number as far as I'm concerned. 20 grand is still 20 grand. At the end of the day, this is still cheaper than that. <sighs> Looks like we'll have to agree to disagree. Absolutely. For driving.ca, I'm Brian Harper. And I'm Nick Trejanis. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe. As always, the button's over Brian's face. And tell us what we should compare next.